Hello everybody, this is Josh Beiser from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to a video examination of the game Moon Hunters. This is the latest game from Kit Fox Games. Their last game, Shattered Plan, was a game that I liked, but I didn't really fall in love with. And I hate to say it, but I'm seeing the same things with Moon Hunters. Despite uh, the, the, ambi the ambition that they put into this title and some of the unique things built into it. Anyway, we're going to get going now. For those of you who don't know, Moon Hunters is a very much a story-heavy ARPG built around both co-op as well as single-player pl play. There is an online mode, you can see it's in beta, but we're going to keep to the single-player mode. Well, the game promotes is that it's about replaying the same basically playthrough that takes place over a five day period but with varying story changes and unlocks. I've already played a few already and they, the unlocks are built into the constellation systems which I'll show you near the end of this video. Reminds me a lot of the Buying of Isaac and it's a good example of what I like to call trophy room achievement design where all your achievements are basically present in game to the player and are tied to unlocks or just something to admire. I think we're going to start a new game. Obviously there will be spoilers alert here for those of you interested in the story of the game. You choose from different characters, they all are preset with unique abilities. I think I've unlocked everyone, it's kind of hard to tell. I've already been in the game as Spellblade and Ritualist, so let's go with Druid and see what he, I think that's what he does. Different costumes, alright. Again, if you have multiple people, you could play with them. So you choose a starring location, which affects, I guess, the part of the story as well. Um, let's go with Wolf Clan. There's not much in-game vocals, which is why I lowered the sound before, but I'll raise up just a little bit. First, we gotta deal with these guys. Every character has three unique skills. Come on. There you go. Alright, so I can transform to a wolf. Transform back. Yeah, that's good. The music is really good in the game. In fact, I may just unfortunately lower just a tad. Because it can get a little loud. So the game definitely uses like pixel style graphics. There's my map. Okay, so you basically have to have these little morality choices throughout your playthrough, and this determines your character's personality at the end, which also affects their story. Now, last time I did happiness, this time I'm going to do purpose. Let's see, I got like the little mark there. These are the character stats. Each character starts with different beginning stats, which you can then influence further. And you'll see that in the next area. This guy seems to be in each one of my playthroughs, so I wonder if he's important. These opals are basically experience. You spend them at the shop to unlock upgrades. That was a food item, which once you find in one game, it appears unlocked in all subsequent. Yeah. 
in the first part not so difficult. So now you choose a role where you want this character to do. The little icons show you the bonuses that you'll get. So if I want to make him better at doing, looks like intellect is where Actually, if you look at his stats, which I don't even see here, his attacks are physical. So if we want to improve that, we want to go hunting. Okay. Every game starts at the first moon feast. So because I chose the this clan as my home, this is why we're starting here. And spend opals on upgrades. <laughs> Instead of training the will transform into a lion. Definitely like the vocals and the music. It really gives the game like a interesting feel to it. They may give you quests, or I'm sorry, give you a little decision to make. All right. So he just told me about hint about a way to learn how to talk to animals. Yes. The village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. And this is basically the intro for every time you start a new play. Alright, so everyone is freaking out. So I'm going to figure out what's going on. So these are the points I can pick from to explore. The what's in the box shows what we could possibly do there. So this will be another upgrade spot. This means I could find fish, which will unlock something for the cooking. So we'll go here. The game is definitely wants you to keep playing the game to unlock new stuff. So you can see the thing with him is you have this range attack. We can also turn to the wolf form for more damage. Now the levels are, I believe these are procedurally generated, but there's definitely like little hot spots that can show up. These are like events or situations that give you more of a choice. Something like this. Now you've probably noticed my first problem with Moon Hunters, at least from a gameplay point of view. The basic combat and just fighting these enemies is just very simple. This is because they had to sprout the mechanics across the different characters. But if you're expecting like leveling up and like a progression curve of traditional RPGs, you're not going to find that here. You can see there's a lot of very wide and empty areas in the game. I think these are supposed to be to sort of fit in the events that you find. Something like this. Let's strum it. But it also means that there just really isn't a lot to do in these levels. I don't know what that is, but I think I just killed it. Now 
Now this environment also didn't show up an, at the starting. I had to unlock the feature for a water. Just like I had to unlock a mountain one. And that sort of leads into like the buying of eyes, like achievement design that the more you play. the more you unlock. And that's really good as I hope to keep you moving, but I just wish that the basic gameplay here was as interesting as that story. I found something. This is a restoration spot, we can go back here to revive. Now if you die in the game, basically the night ends and any kind of bonuses or rewards you would have found would be lost. I'm trying to find that resource spot. I said we could get fish here, but I'm not having good luck with finding these additional resources a lot of times. Wait for my stop. There you go. Okay, so this is one of those little event spots I was telling you about. We're now in a fight. Now I bet the game would be more interesting when we had like a full group of people on. But you can never really account for that, especially in games with local co-op and the online being a beta for it. So this guy, energy regeneration, is going to be very important. Oop. And not getting hit by giant boulders. I mean, to the game's credit, each character does have completely different skills. But there's no real growth of these abilities. And your reward is usually more opals. And the level design is just very generic. And there's always a risk you run with procedurally generated levels. If you don't fill them with enough interesting stuff, it just becomes a very long, drawn out process. Completely screw that one up. Trying to get my money's worth, so here's something. So we have a new trait, we're now proud. That will affect some of our story decisions, as well as perhaps certain events that we run into. Yeesh. Oh, there's any friendly fire. I'm just sneaking in this cave. There we go. So we unlock fish, which now will be on part of the cooking mechanic. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Now that we found that little point, there really isn't nothing else to explore. We may find more random events like that one that gave us Prowl, but nothing like game changing. Oop. Now he's gotta find the exit. 
I mean, I could stay here and kill more guys and maybe get some opals, but... It does seem to drag things on, even despite the fact that this is only a five-day of content in a single playthrough. We should be coming to the exit. There we go. Whenever you camp, that ends the day. I'm gonna cough in one second. So... We'll do a cook. So how cooking works is you choose two ingredients and that will give you a recipe that will boost your stats. So we could do fish with whatever. Let's do rice. And now from this point on, whenever I play Moon Hunters, I'll have fish available. And I can choose, so. Alright, not bad. So this shows up every time. Now he's a, a playable character too. Okay, so three days left. So we go train. There's a spirit gallon, whether that is. So let's go over here. So we now have a chance of getting of upgrading our character, which I think I really want to do. Again, same kind of design with wide open areas. What is that? Hmm. Alright. Again, that affects our personality. So we're looking for an upgrade guy. And that spirit gate. It says. Don't know what that means. Very maze-like level design again. Oh, looks like we have a situation. I think that's a boss fight. Well, let's do them. Sometimes you find bosses, other times you don't. One second, I'm gonna look around. See how I can find the upgrade guy first. So they do give you different ones, but let's see Look for that. Hopefully, I can find that bear form again or lion form. There, you go. that's gonna be easier to hit with at least. All right, let's try this boss out. Once you die. I 
I'm nobody's a uh, wolf here. Come on. Hey. I probably don't want to get hit by all that. What? Well, that sucks. I didn't even get a chance to get away from him. He just pushed me to a corner. To keep watch. Alright, well, help. Now, again, that boss was probably designed to have multiple characters, and you can see that's one of the issues when you have games designed around a co op experience. <laughs> when there is no one to play with, one character just has a lot more of a frustrating time. And here we go again. Oh. Now we have to play finding where everything is. I mean, these areas are just way too long, I think. There needs to be more things in here. Otherwise, I'm just going to run around. Let's listen. So this is how I unlocked that person for regular play. What's this? Oh. Not. fits like the theme of this world. Just wish that the gameplay was as interesting as the story they're trying to create. that boss fight? As you can see, this is one of those games where they just really don't tell you a lot of what your decisions are actually doing. What's this? Yeah, melee characters do get a little bit punished in this game, I've noticed. I got stuck in a corner, and I'll be really pissed off. I need to let me heal again. Nope. Okay. 
mean, these kinds of events, that's probably the best part of Moon Hunter, at least keeping these varied. Oh. Okay, I don't know how that guy could, like, turn on a dime like that. There we go. But it, it's just in their spurs with just way too much dead area. Or dead space, I should say. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, what do you have? Let's do that. Did I even stun him? This is another fight. Yep. can't get those apples or whatever, we basically have no other reason to stay here. We're about 28 minutes? Okay. Alright, so this is the last day before we end this cycle. Alright, let's see what's down here. You can see that the game wants you to explore these areas. There's just like not a lot of things to really find. There are these occasional like event spots. I'm not sure why he's attacking up there, but. Go, team, go. those things so much. I mean, again, there really should be something here. But you can tell this was just an area designed to basically hold another event. Someone could upgrade. Oh, 
Now with other starting locations, you may be near other villages, I could give you a little quest or other little bonuses, but I didn't see anything for this guy. I guess we're going. Okay. I'll do some more hunting, see what that does. Nice. Let's try dodging. Cool. Alright, so now the game lets you decide where you want to be for the finale. Again, I don't know like what this actually does. I'm just gonna go over here. So we can find an apricot? I don't know if that's still possible. You know, for a different story, let's do it. Now, I don't know why that popped up there. If it's a part of this character's story, or... If it's just, like, an option sometimes that comes up. seeing anything. Alright, I guess it's time for the big boss. Me and my boar. Alright. This shouldn't be a tough fight. I'm sure there, there has to be more bosses that unlock as you play the game. Because it just seems a little too basic for what could be a final fight. I'm assuming that if I keep playing Moon Hunters, we'll get different endings like this. Can't make her vocals louder without uh, making the music really loud, unfortunately. Alright, so for winning the game, we now get basically an epilogue of our story. And yeah, if I played the game differently or 
chose like different personality traits at the time came through my events, we would get a different story here. That was a nice touch. Yeah, we already did that. What? Only one? I was actually hoping for more to be unlocked there. So this is the constellation system up here. As you unlock more constellations, you unlock more content. So like here's the story of the ox. You can start there now. So there are still a quite number of constellations left to unlock and that will give you more stuff to play with. So again we can choose another character. Different starting. We're not going to play through the game again. Skip that. So now that we're playing as this guy, he has these abilities. I can apparently summon fire balls from the sky. So again, each character does have different abilities, which is good. But I just wish the basic game mechanics were as interesting as what they're trying to do with the reasons to keep replaying the game and the story. So again, the same beginning. village. And I'll do the same thing. And again, because we chose a different starting tribe, we come here now. And he has different things you can possibly upgrade with opals. That's a guy who runs a tribe. Does cat teach us anything? <laughs> you just have to talk to everyone to see what's going on. But of course the same thing's gonna happen, the moon's not going to appear. And you have to make your choice. Right. Oh, this again. <laughs> I'll go to him this time. Alright, but again, we're not going to replay the entire game. So we're going to probably wrap it up here. Again, I like this idea, but I just wish that the gameplay was as interesting as having to keep replaying it. And I just don't see myself going the long haul like I did in like The Buying of Isaac, or Enter the Gungeon to unlock more content. Because in those games, at least the basic design 
was built to make it very engaging to keep playing. Here, there's just not enough here to do gameplay-wise on each playthrough. Right. I wanted to just go here so I can save out. But I mean, the story's interesting. I like the music. And that may be enough to convince you to keep playing the game. Stepping in fire. But you can see melee characters can have a bit of a trouble, especially when they get surrounded. If you can't hit the enemy off of you, you're in deep trouble. I could see this game really shining if you got three or two other people to play with. Ugh. I can't stun these guys, I'm just screwed. Yeah, some of them you can't stun out of their attack. And that just really makes it punishing for those types of characters. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's going to do. As I said, I like the game, but... I'm not loving enough that I want to keep playing it. Unless there's just more meat to this gameplay. I just can't see myself ever completing all these constellations. But we'll see if they ever do decide to expand the game and add more content. So, with that said, we're going to wrap up this video spotlight on Moon Hunters. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Of course, share with your friends. It all helps out. Check out game-wisdom.com where I examine the art and science of games. My written review should be going up very soon as well. Subscribe on Twitch and Twitter under GWBlaster to get the latest updates when content goes live. And you can find me on Patreon under Game Wisdom and Aid Donations would be greatly appreciated. They'll allow me to keep putting out great content as well as enhance the site with new features. And any donations would be greatly appreciated. Again, thanks so much for tuning into this play of Moon Hunters. And I will see you again real soon with more content. Thanks for watching, and take care.